Good morning, everyone. I'm Jim Jaquetta, CTO and co-founder of Vitovation. Today we have my uh, good friend uh, and colleague Ari Verde from uh, Vered uh, from AB on Air. Uh, Ari's been uh, in the broadcast space uh, doing business development for what more than 30 years. Uh, tell tell everyone uh, about your history and and AB on Air. Okay, so uh, I'm Arie and I'm uh, based uh, in Israel. Uh, we are an Israeli company. Um, I have, uh, I, I'm uh, taking care and responsible for the uh, US market in the company. I have uh, more than uh, 30 years background on broadcasting in companies such as uh, uh, Harmonic, uh, 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 Satlink and other companies um, and uh, I am uh, I have a technical background and uh, I love to do the business uh, with uh, AB on Air and uh, uh, in the United States. Um, now about uh, AB, AB on Air what we are doing uh, we are doing wireless systems uh, for a uh, 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 connecting to uh, um, broadcasting cameras uh, and uh, broadcasting the video signal by microwave from the camera to the control room. So we are actually in the last mile. Uh, uh, we, we are in the last mile and uh, we are more in the live event, a live production and sports events, sports production. Uh, next slide, please. Well, uh, before I go to the next ah, slide, okay. um, Ari, let, I wanted to get a, a feeling for the, our listeners today if they are, are currently uh, uh, using uh, wireless technology, uh, if it's something they're using now, if it's something they plan to use, uh, if they're not using it now, something they plan to use in the future, or uh, uh, let us know if you you really you're just curious today, but really don't have any any plans for uh, for wireless in, in the near future. Uh, let me see if people uh, can do a quick vote. Okay. Uh, well, so while we're waiting for the votes to come in, uh, we were discussing this earlier, Ari. Yeah. What what is why was AB on Air founded? What what was like the mission statement? You know what was missing in the in the marketplace that that you feel uh, um, um, uh, you know the problem that AB on Air solves uh, uh, you know fundamentally at at a high level. You know I don't want to spoil the slides you have coming, but. Uh, uh, what, what, what is the mission statement or, or the problem that AB on Air solves? Yeah, that's okay. Uh, the problem was uh, that, uh, you know, uh, even today, uh, mm, the camera is connected to the control room by wire. So uh, it, it, it makes a lot of limitation. You cannot go anywhere if you want to have your angle of uh, of, of of the photo or uh, the angle of shooting something. You cannot go anywhere because you are connected with a wire to the uh, uh, to the control room. So first of all, uh, the challenge was to do uh, to broadcast the signal from the camera to the control room in a wireless way without a cable. So with the wireless, uh, with with this wireless uh, technology and the wireless way, you can you don't have a limitation. You can go very uh, near, nearby to the player. In case of a, of a football game, you can go. Uh, you can shoot the the anybody, either a player or somebody that uh, watch the game. Um, you don't have any constraints or any limitation that is caused by the uh, by the uh, uh, by the cable. Now the right. next question, the next question was, uh, what is the frequency that we are going to use? So right. At that, right. Yeah. Yeah. So at that time, there were uh, 
few uh, few choices you can pick up uh, and we picked up the 5 gigahertz because of you know 5 gigahertz is unlicensed so right. you don't need it's to free. pay money it's free. for that right. it's free uh, so that is why we go to the 5 gigahertz and because of uh, uh, our strong uh, background technical background of the r d people in uh, wi-fi uh, they actually invented something uh, that is you know hoping a special algorithm to uh, 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 against inter interference if there are interference and uh, hoping for one frequency to the other and uh, this is our uh, this is one of our strengths another one is the delay the delay is critical especially in sport or in any yes. live concert you know you don't want to to have lip sync and uh, you don't want to have a, a, a delay so uh, we are uh, uh, the lowest delay our system has the lowest delay in the market is seven milliseconds less than a frame it's unnoticeable Right, so right. This, this, yeah, this a, com a, 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 a common question we get, get Ari, and you know we'll get to the slides. But a common question we get is, there are uh, more expensive systems out there. They have about uh, anywhere from thirty to ninety milliseconds of latency, but some of them will operate on the seven gig band, on a license band, and and. Uh, in our experience deploying the Abion Air product, and and in your experience. Uh, uh, customers sometimes have a fear of the five gigahertz band because it is a shared spectrum. But like you said, if the channel the unit is on suddenly becomes noisy or if somebody starts occupying that channel, you actually switch to a different channel between pixels yeah. before a, a bit a, a pixel gets lost. And then um, I, I tease Ari and his his uh, founder and CEO Eran. That they're too modest about their product. That theirs is they they have built the only microwave video radio that I have seen that is bi-directional, and because it's bi-directional, it's the only radio that has ARQ, automatic re-request. So the the first line of defense is the channel hopping. The second line of defense is the the forward error correction. Correct. Yes. And then if, if if the channel hopping and the FEC can't recover the loss bit, the, the receiver will tell the transmitter you need to resend. And the amazing part is usually when you have ARQ, you need long buffering, you know, hundreds of milliseconds or even seconds. Uh, yeah. The fact that you can do ARQ so quickly uh, uh, within a seven millisecond or a half, seven milliseconds is what? Basically less than half of a frame. So is within this? half of a frame, you can resend the packets. So let me, let me, I'll, I'll get to the slides. Let me just share uh, the results of the, uh, so it looks like most of the people are using uh, uh, a wireless today, 80%. Um, I guess, Ari, we got 20% of the people we got to work on them. They have no plans for wireless. So uh, I think we're going to, you're going to amaze them uh, so much with your knowledge, Ari. We're going to get them to, 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 to consider uh, wireless. All right. So let me bring that down. Um, and uh, let's see. Uh, there it goes. Before, okay. before we go to the presentation, mm -hmm. I want, I want, uh, to make clear the idea of the 5 gigahertz. Okay, okay 5, G, 5 gigahertz is a shared, uh, a shared frequency and not a private frequency. Now, it is similar to a, you know, to a road, a very, very uh, wide road. Like you have, everybody can, 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 can have a car and drive on this road, but it is like a road that you have 40 lanes 40 lanes so four zero, four, 40 zero four zero 40 lanes zero 40 okay. lanes so if one lane is occupied you simply go to the other lane and if this is occupied you simply go to the another one and so on and so forth so uh, you have 40 lanes 
which you can drive your car. And this is exactly what our system is doing. Okay, so we are not, we don't have a private uh, road or a private, a, a, a private road, uh, but the private road is very narrow and the road, the public road that we have is very wide. Right. So our system is hoping, just hoping. Right. Right. And uh, that's the reason we are immune, immunate to, right. uh, 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 right. to interference. Okay. Well, uh, let, 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 let me add too that that we, we have customers that, that use seven gigs. I've used seven gigs in, in my career. And you, you go to the FCC or the, the governing agency in, in your country and you're given a channel at a certain address. A yeah. the large percentage of the time, somebody illegally is on that channel and you can't switch to another channel because you don't have a license to go to another channel and if that channel is jammed you have no transmission you you have to call the fcc you have to call the government agency you have to complain but might take weeks or months to even get a re resolution or the interfering signal goes away so just because you have a licensed channel uh doesn't mean uh you're always going to have success so I would make the sure. argument that that your system is more reliable than even having a, a, a license. Just because you have a license doesn't mean somebody's not going to step on you. Yeah. And, and then uh, and oh, Ari was going to show us some slides about uh, stadiums with 100 plus fans in them. Uh, we did the Arizona Cardinals and there's fans in the stands using Wi-Fi on their phone. Uh, while multiple AB on air systems are in operation, sharing the Wi Fi spectrum uh, with AB on air and uh, 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 fans uh, Wi Fi. Oh, let me see here. Wait, I got, oh, wrong slide. Oh, hit the wrong button. Sorry. Got to okay. click on the presentation. Here we go. Yeah. Uh, okay. okay. So, a little bit background uh, on the company. AB on air is, uh, we are doing wireless video transmission system. Uh, we founded in uh, 2008, so uh, we are uh, we are on air 12 years. Uh, we have a lot of experience in uh, the wireless 5G systems, uh, and we are offering robust and reliable microsystem solution for broadcast, outdoor production, sport, and news. Uh, as I told you before, uh, our solution have the lowest latency level available in the market. Next, next, please. It's coming. Yeah. That's a little bit okay. of latency. Uh, yeah. Did it change? Yeah, yeah, it's changed. I oh. see it. Oh, no, 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 yeah, this one. Okay, so uh, the main uh, market segment that we are there are uh, ENG, the electric, uh, electric news gathering. So you can see here uh, uh, um, an example uh, of an of a ENG uh, vehicle in Italy uh, that is using our systems. They both uh, um, around 10 systems that are uh, serving 10 of their uh, vans or OB vans, whatever. And then we have the outdoor sports events. Any event you know that you have in the United States, there are many colleges and universities with athletics department that are doing basketball, uh, live basketball games, live football games, uh, uh, li uh, live baseball games, all these. And, uh, and 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 we are very strong in this uh, segment as well, which is the sport event uh, because of the low delay mode, mainly because of the low delay mode. Uh, and live event like parades or any 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 live event like a house of worship or a parade that you would like to broadcast live uh, for a uh, the, the uh, picture that you can see is from a parade in Estonia, a very long parade, a, something like two kilometers, which is uh, 
6,000 feet uh, long parade, and uh, we cover all the parade with uh, with uh, 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 with wireless. You cannot do it without a wireless because uh, the guy was uh, was uh, uh, was driving there. You can see, and uh, and 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 it was six hours live broadcasting without any drop. Wow. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Well, you're you're going to get to it, but but a, another key feature of your technology is the way you distribute your antenna system. So I'll I'll yeah. just foreshadow that a little bit. So you have a long parade over many many miles, hundreds of yards. If there are dead spots or if you have a very large stadium, uh, that's a big strength of, of AB on air is the distributed antenna system. But I don't want to, I have a bad habit <laughs> of spoiling no, okay. the surprise. But I want to I, I, I give a little foreshadowing uh, without ruining the surprise. Um, okay. All right, let me see. Uh, Next I'm one. A little, I'm having a little trouble. It seems to be giving me late. There it goes. Um, okay. So here you have a partial list of universities in the USA that are using AB on air systems, uh, like uh, Alabama, uh, Alabama Crimson Tide. Uh, we are covering a stadium of uh, 101 K seats. Uh, no, uh, and 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 we know how uh, to deal with the in interference there. Interference there. We have uh, also Georgia uh, University, uh, 92 K seats, Nebraska, 85 K, Virginia Tech with 66,000 seats, um, NBA Detroit Pistons, Pistons, it's basketball, 20 K seats, University of Virginia, 61 K seats, Kansas University, uh, University in Texas, Columbia, uh, Indianapolis, uh, 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 Missouri, uh, North Carolina, Vanderbilt University, uh, Louisiana State University, Florida State University, Louisiana State University is 102,000 seats. Uh, and uh, in all these universities, uh, uh, our systems are deployed, very well deployed uh, with uh, with no uh, problem, no issues, no uh, signal drops, and, uh, and 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 we are proud of it. Well, you also know that, especially college kids, and knowing my kids, they're constantly on Instagram, uploading something, liking, swiping. Uh, I, I they, actually, I think they call it Insta now. It's the, the Instagram is too long, so the Insta. They're on Insta. Insta. And you know these kids in the stadium are are posting videos, posting video clips. So they're 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 heavily using the house Wi-Fi in these facilities, and the AB on air, uh, multiple AB on air systems are thriving even in this challenging environment. Correct? Yeah, yeah. Even in this in challenge, not only this challenging environment, even if you have more than one hundred thousand people there, still it is working. Right, right, right. So this slide is about uh, uh, our uh, flagship uh, uh, system, which is the AB512. AB512, one you, is a state of the art, full HD, 3G system, seven millisecond delay, uh, control uh, RCPCCU, uh, uh, there is an option uh, to integrate with any intercom system, uh, an option uh, for a video return, and many other uh, features. By the way, it, the coverage is uh, something around 4,500 uh, feet line of sight. Right. Well, let me let me add. Now, I want everyone to make note of this packaging. So. I don't want to name names, but there's a company, their name starts with Wave, or we'll call them WC, uh, without naming names. The the piece of gear that goes in the control room is three or four rack units wide. It doesn't have rack mounting ears, 
So you have to kludge it on a shelf and then they have another piece from another vendor for the uh, camera control receiver um, and they, they don't offer integrated intercom. So you see this one rack unit, nice, highly integrated uh, uh, system and, and what makes it so powerful is it's built on a bi-directional uh, platform. And, and what is the throughput again of, of, of the radius? Like 50 megabits or, per second or more? Uh, uh, 40 megabits per second. 40, 40 megabits. 40 megabits per second. Yeah. Other systems out there are lucky if they do eight, if they if eight. they do two carriers, I think some of them can do 16, if they do a dual yeah. carrier kind of a deal. Uh, uh, but but this is 40. This is 40. And 40. and again, it's 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 a full integration. It was designed from the ground up to, of course, do video and do it very well with low latency and then integrate camera control and intercom and nice clean one RU box. I, I, I've done tours of facilities where the competing system's in there and it's embarrassing. You got this clunky gear that's not meant to be rack mounted. It, it's not a clean uh, integration like, like AB on air. Uh, it's not a clean design. Yeah, okay, so a little bit about the AB512. Again, it's a sub subframe delay, seven millisecond, high picture quality. Uh, I don't want to go into so many uh, technical uh, words, but uh, it's a uh, it's it's very high picture quality with H.264 codec technology. Uh, it's full resolution, 1080p. 1080i, 720p, whatever you you have, all the range of uh, of uh, resolution up to 1080p. Um, the coverage is, as I told you, uh, up to 4,500 uh, uh, feet uh, line of sight. Uh, we are supporting single zone and multi zone. How it's multi-zone, we have a, a unique box that transfer the RF to fiber. And you can cascade up to 256 boxes like that. And the last one is connecting to our uh, receiver. Our receiver can uh, connect either to RF antennas or to fiber. Now, when you have these boxes, if you have, a, for example, a stadium that you want to cover the stadium, the upper tribunes, you want also to cover the tunnels, you want to cover the press room with one camera, then you put in each one, you put one FCE in the pressing room, one FCE in the tunnel, one FCE in the board, one FCE in the upper tribune, tribunes, all these FCEs connected, cascade to each other, and then with one camera, you can cover whatever you want. You can cover the old stadium, you can cover the tunnel, you can cover the pressing room, you can go with the camera from one, uh, 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 from one uh, area to the other area without even losing one pixel. I, a, a lot of our customers, Ari, use uh, bonded cellular. So I like to use the, the, the mention. Uh, it's different technology, but the topology is very similar to cellular. Like these FCEs are like uh, digital cell sites, and you yeah. you if you do have a dead spot in your zone, you know, in your in your facility. Um, we, we've done installation in the ballpark, so they wanted to get the camera underneath one of the mezzanines. So it was a little bit out of the line of sight of, of the main receiving antenna. So you put an FCE under there, problem solved. And, and these facilities have fiber running all throughout them. And our competition can't do this, or if they do do it, it's not, it's not uh, as robust. So the competition would have to do a very expensive analog fiber optic, an RF over analog fiber 
link so it's it's not digital this is a digital connection correct you're yeah, you're you're not digital. converting you're not you're not doing an rf analog rf uh transport over fiber uh with the com competition you can distribute your antennas but you need very expensive uh rf to fiber links and they do degrade the quality uh the signal to noise will go down i also want to add i'm a video guy going on 35, 40 years. I, I started when I was in junior high working for my dad at Multidyne. But 52 dB signal to noise, that has always been the benchmark of broadcast quality video. And you will never see a figure like that on any of our competitors' data sheets because they can't even come close to that. So that 52 dB uh, 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 PSNR is a big deal. And it, it, it shows that this is a broadcast solution. There's other solutions out there. There's other technology where uh, they claim it's not compressed. Well, it's actually heavily encoded. What they do is if the link loses bandwidth, they throw the least significant bits in the garbage. Um, to me, that's not compression. That's, that's truncation. That's... Uh, 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 heavy encoding without any intelligence, you know, not looking for repetitiveness in the picture. You want uh, an industry standard codec that will compress and look for commonality in the pixels, in, in, the, in the patterns, in the, in the geometry of the picture, uh, throwing least significant bits in the trash. To the trained eye, you can see it. I challenge them to do a PSNR test on that, and the PSNR is probably 25 or 30. W wouldn't you agree, uh, Ari? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, so yeah. Okay. Um, uh, you want me to advance? Yeah. Uh, no, what I want to also to, to, to add here is that our system, the basic system, is supporting all broadcasting camera uh, uh, CCU yes. and RCP. You know, Sony, Panasonic, Kegami, Cross Valley, Itachi, Blackmagic, what, you name it. Um, uh, uh, because we are bidirectional, so we can support it very easily. And uh, if uh, if the customer using Sony, and then after two years they decided to switch to Panasonic, for us is nothing because the hardware is the same. All what needed to do is to replace cables. Replace right. two it's, cables, it's just and cables right? Yeah, and you are. Yeah, in. There, there's a, a multi-pin limo on the on the on the transmitter and the receiver, so you just need to purchase the 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 proper cable for the for the camera. And yeah. and th this uh, WC competitor I mentioned, uh, they actually don't make the camera control. It, it, the the camera control is is from a third party. And they they managed to integrate the video wireless video board with the wireless control on the camera side, but then that's why you need two or three boxes on the receive side because they're made by different vendors. So uh, the AB on Air, it, it, everything is made by AB on Air. There's no integration of different vendors' components in the box. Uh, it's built from the ground up to support all these things, and and uh, uh, the latency, no one can touch that. Uh, and the robustness, uh, it, it's a great product. It really is. I, I, we're, we're very proud to represent AB on Air. If I haven't told you lately, Ari, we, we really appreciate you and the AB on Air technology. It really is, is something special. Yeah, thank you. So you, you ready? You, yeah, uh, yeah. Not only this, no, no, not only this, because we are bidirectional, uh, we are, uh, uh, we don't need like the competitors they are simulating the commands that are coming from the from the uh, uh, from the camera to the receiver. They are doing a kind of simulation, and we don't need. Oh, they're it. they're we they're do. cheating it. They're 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 faking that they're doing a bidirectional uh, yeah. connection, and then um, there's no feedback. You know, in any kind of communication, if you tell. The, the camera to open its iris, the camera will reply, I open the iris. Yeah. So sometimes those commands get broken in a, in a less sophisticated system and, and can cause problems. Uh, uh, 
exactly. Okay. So yeah, so this is this issue. And uh, now uh, with our with with the AB five twelve, uh, you can add uh, intercom. We have our own intercom, and we can integrate to any intercom that is in the market with two uh, 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 two wire, four wire, whatever. Right. Right. Uh, the yeah. the other thing I like too, Ari, is that customers will be like, well, what headset do I use? They provide with the intercom kit. Uh, uh, you know, a single ear, you know, most camera operators are, are, are right-handed, so there, there's no left ear, there's, a, there's only the right ear, so they can get the camera up against their head. Uh, it's very nice, very comfortable, very high quality uh, headset. It's just part of the kit. So the customer doesn't yeah. even have to think about, you, you ever buy something and you're like, oh, I didn't know the headset wasn't included. Now I gotta go buy a headset last minute. Everything you need, we just don't provide the camera or the monitor, but but everything else that you need comes with the system, correct? Yeah, yeah, correct. Okay, next slide, please. It's coming. Okay. There we go. And now we are going to launch a, a new system, which is the AB612. It is 4K wireless system doing the same as the AB512, it means intercom, uh, um, RCP CCU control, uh, um, working with fiber, um, video return. Everything is supported here in the AB612, uh, plus few differences. One main difference is that this is 4K UHD. 60 frames per second, a 4K support, full 4K support. The interface is 12G, not 3G. There is a full HDR support. And uh, the technology, the, the, the encoding, decoding technology is, is much better. It's the H.265. All the rest is doing the same legacy functions that you have, we have in the AB. 512 we have in the AB612. The AB612 will be released around August this year. Very good, very good, very good. Yeah, that that's uh, greatly uh, anticipated. And, and you were saying you've seen uh, the picture quality in the lab. Uh, the HEVC codec is uh, is amazing that you're using. It's making very 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 good pictures. And of course, you don't have to use it in 4K mode, right? It'll support HD as well, correct? Yes. Uh, yes. It, it it support HD, support uh, 4K, support everything. Very good, very good. Well, we we uh, we look forward to seeing that. And and you already spoke to this, but this is the um, the, the the fiber coverage extender. Um, yeah. um, tell us more about these tiny little boxes you can place around your facility. Okay, the box is uh, the box that you see here in the picture. All you need is to plug the uh, power, the electrical power, and you need to plug the, uh, 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 the antennas and the fiber, and that's it. No need to configure, no need, everything is very, very straightforward, and uh, uh, the setup is automatic. So you don't need to do anything, uh, any configuration here, all is automatic. Um, um, and it's seamless roaming from one FCE to another. So it's like what you said before. It's like a, a, a cellular, right? Uh, cellular, and you can when when you go with your cellular uh, 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 with your mobile cellular from one cell to another. Yeah, it'll seamless. hand off to, to it. It, it the, the transmitter uh, hands off to the closest. Uh, 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 FCE, you know, if you're, if you're going out of range of one access node, it'll jump uh, 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 to the other. And you can see in the picture there, you see how it's got uh, four uh, optical connections on. I don't know if everyone can see that. It's kind of small, but um, you can daisy chain them together. So, so you can go around your facility, go in and out, in and out. You also have an appliance where you can do more of a star configuration, right? Uh, 
yes. kind of like a fiber hub, right? Uh, yes. Yes, yes. We've we done have, that. We have a very, uh, we have a special product, AB1000, that it is like a hub. And then you can, you can connect up to eight chains of, uh, of uh, FCEs uh, to this hub. Yeah, because some facilities might not have uh, their fiber set up in, in a ring. So they might have things that home run fiber from each camera position or around the stadium to their control room. So we have the, we have the option to do either, to do a ring or a star uh, uh, configuration. I think one of the racetracks we did uh, recently had uh, more, more of a, a, a star configuration than a... Um, yeah. Uh, than, than a ring or a daisy chain. Yeah. Um, yeah. Shall I advance or did you want to talk more about this? No, uh, also uh, that uh, we recently uh, have a new customer. I cannot, uh, I cannot mention the name, but it is uh, one of the three digits, very big one. Uh, and uh, they, are they are using their uh, system uh, for, for their stu studios. So if they are interviewing uh, uh, players uh, during a live uh, or interpreters during, during the live and uh, the interpreters or the player are moving from one studio to another, they are using uh, our wireless system to do that. And they, and they are using a star configuration, very nice configuration for studios. Well, you you bring up a good point, uh, particularly in I can think of a sports application where you kind of alluded to it that that some productions want to have a continue because yeah, the fans are in the crowd they don't know the team is about to come out so yeah. there's the anticipation of the team coming out so now a camera operator can can start with you know the the team message the team prayer whatever they're doing before the game start from the locker room, come out of the, you know, the, the, the hallway, the tunnel could be very long and windy. Uh, and we can have a continuous shot from the locker room, out the tunnel, down the hallway, out the, onto the field, out into the middle of the field, to the coin toss, all one contiguous shot without a single dropout. And that is due to this technology, right? That these uh, fiber coverage extenders. Yeah, and all is done with one camera. And with the same camera, um, yeah. some some universities they like the idea that the photog doesn't have to think that uh, they have an event at the aquatic center. They put an FCE there for for a swimming tournament. Then they put an FCE in the in the basketball stadium, and then they put one out on the baseball field. They put uh, one in the football uh, bowl, and they put one in the auditorium where they do their commencements. The photog just uh, puts the leaves the unit on his camera, puts a battery on, just goes anywhere on campus, turns the camera on, he's got signal. And the lights on the back of the unit tell the photog he's connected. Yes. And then furthermore, he's talking to, to the director uh, in his ear. When he hears the director or if they're using the, the return video feature, he can see the when he sees program video, he can see himself on the air on the program return. Uh, sure. so, so it, it, uh, right. We want to, you don't want to have to send the technician out with the camera op. You want the camera op to just put a battery on and go and be autonomous. Right. Yeah, exactly. Correct. Uh, next slide, please. There we go. It's coming. Okay. There. Now it's the integrated wireless intercom. As I told you, uh, there is an option to have an in, uh, intercom. Uh, so we have an upgrade kit, uh, both to the AB512 and to the AB612. Uh, and the communication is done with the same frequency as the video. It's full dup duplex, sorry. Sorry, I did. I cl I'm, I'm uh, sorry about that. <laughs> sorry. No problem. No problem. <laughs> bad bad production. Bad, my bad. I'm a bad producer. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's okay. That's sorry, okay. Uh, uh, and uh, it's with IF, IFB supported. IFB is a microphone for an interviewer uh, up to 6,000 feet range, uh, support four wire, two wires, 
support all the, with the all intercom matrix like ClearCom, RS, RS, R, 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 RTS, it's not RST, but anyway, uh, and it has uh, volume control, P, PPT, PTT, no, not PPT, Vox control and call button. Yeah, I should say that all, all you need is a, 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 on your intercom matrix is an analog interface for four wire, two wire. You're good to go. Even if you have a digital intercom system, I, I think all intercom systems have a, an analog in and out option. Uh, that's all you need to do. And then if you have multiple systems too, you can talk to each camera operator separately. You know, you don't have to have sure. everyone on a party line. You know, the, the director hits the button to talk to camera, the field camera number one. Number two, it doesn't have to share on a party line, uh, right? It's better to, to, to talk to each camera photog individually and give them instructions, correct? Yeah. Okay, All next right, slide. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, ready for the next slide. Mm, there we go. You have high of... delay. Yeah, it's oh. a little latency. Well, I think it's got to come from me to Israel and then back again, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. uh, there is another option that is uh, unique to us and supported by us. Same frequency. We have also a wireless uh, video return. We, have, we are uh, supporting two channels, two video returns. So one can be the on-air channel or any other uh, video source. Uh, so uh, the cameraman can see himself or what is on air. And in addition, teleprompter. So if, you're, if uh, you are interviewing some, somebody in the field and you need a teleprompter that goes, you know, that goes wireless from the OB van or from the control room, you can use it. You can use a teleprompter and another channel. Uh, you don't need any additional antenna, anything else, because it is at the same frequency that is uh, the main frequency. That's it. Well, uh, I, should, I should add, too, like one, one of the benefits of working with Vitovation is that we're not a one technology company. So we, we integrate technology from multiple vendors together. So it's very common that uh, we would use, uh, some of our customers would use AB on air to get video to their truck. Uh, if they have a production switcher in the truck, they produce the show on site and then they might use, instead of satellite, they might use uh, some of our Avi West bonded cellular technology to get back to master control. And uh, Avi West is introducing uh, uh, a return video uh, feature. So. Uh, Avi West could be used to get, get return video from the studio to the truck, and then from the truck, we can feed it to the photog on the field through, uh, uh, through the uh, AB on air uh, teleprompter and video return. So I guess my point is you see how nicely the technologies can work together, and uh, we can help you design a system that integrates all this uh, technology together. Yeah. Okay, there next slide. It's coming. It's there coming. It's coming. There we go. Okay, there is another uh, product that uh, we are doing with the same, actually, it's the same system, but antennas are different. So, this is what we call a uh, long range. It's, uh, it's up to 10 miles, but it's point to point. So, if you have in the city, if you have a Obi van, and you need communication to a, any a control center that is 10 miles away uh, with the same software, same hardware, same, same thing, you can, uh, 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 you can broadcast a signal point to point from a building to the Obi van with everything, with video return, with CCURCP control, with intercom, the delay, even if it's 10 miles, delay is still 7 milliseconds. So well, in, in the application I mentioned before, if, if, you're, uh, if the broadcaster or their, their master control is within line of sight and, 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 and 10 miles or less away, 
you you put these antennas up on the on the high point on the stadium. Uh, I mean, all all news agencies, all broadcasters have a, a microwave receive type site in, in town somewhere high up. So you put one of these AB on air receivers up on the tower. Uh, um, so you'd go from the field to the truck, produce the show, and then this could go from the truck back to master control. So this would be an alternative to using bonded cellular or satellite or fiber. Uh, uh, and and again, five gigahertz is free, right? There's no licensing. No. So if you run, if you get permission to put these antennas on the stadium roof, you can have a, a very reliable free uh, connection between uh, the, the venue and your facility. Yeah, yeah, correct. Next slide. It's coming. Yeah. Okay, uh, now uh, we will have some examples of uh, realistic projects that uh, were implemented. So this one is, for example, if you want to uh, cover a go golf, uh, a, a golf arena. As you know, golf arena is uh, is is wide, uh, is long, and uh, you cannot cover it uh, with uh, with uh, any uh, wireless system without using some FCEs that you see here uh, 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 cascading to each other. And you put FCE every 500 meters, which is uh, uh, 1,500 feet. Every 1,500 feet, you put FCE. You you can put up to 200, 250, what 256, and uh, then you can cover kilometers of kilometers of uh, with one camera one RF camera that is going all over the right. golf course. You, uh, Vidovation could help you procure uh, a tactical fiber that you would lay down that uh, people could walk on or vehicles could run over it, or it's not uncommon where you just use an inexpensive fiber and you just leave it behind when you're done or you throw it out. Uh, uh, fiber is, is, is relatively inexpensive. Uh, but what, whatever the case is, it's it's uh, very easy to run a fiber and, and you just daisy chain it. In this configuration, a golf course would probably be perfect to do kind of a daisy chain, just follow the course between the holes and put an FCE at, at each critical point and you'd have contiguous coverage of the of the whole uh, of the whole compound. A lot of times the camera positions are put on towers. So yeah. you might not need that many FCEs if you put them on uh, some of the, the camera tower positions and uh, you could use sector antennas. So, you know, even from the same tower, you could cover the eastern part of the course and then have sector antennas cover the, the, the southern part, right? So, so if you have a strategic point in the middle, you could do sectors on different yeah. FCEs, correct? Correct. Correct. So, so uh, actually, uh, that, that, that brings up a question or, or a comment I have, too. Uh, one of the first questions uh, Ari and AB on Air asks when we're doing a new project is uh, for an aerial picture of the venue. Um, uh, they like to see a picture of the stadium from the air, uh, the golf course from the air. We look at elevations and uh, we, we have a pretty good idea just from an aerial picture where the FCE should be placed for optimal coverage. And 99% and of the time, your, your first uh, 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 suggestions are correct, but yeah. uh, it, it, it's a very common for a bigger installation where uh, Vidovation will come out, uh, an engineer from Israel will come out and we will fine tune the, the installation and the placement of the antennas to make sure we have optimal coverage. And uh, we even encourage doing testing on a, on a game day when there's fans in the stadium and we can tweak things to make sure everything is uh, uh, working properly. Yeah, correct. Next slide. Here it comes. Okay. Oh, this is a very interesting slide. Uh, here is a Texas Motor Speedway. It's a car racing. And uh, it was very, very important for the, them to cover the finish line. 
So in order, in order to cover the finish line, we put two sector antennas that are very strong uh, uh, and covering very well, uh, even from a distance, the, uh, 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 the uh, finish line. And at the same, uh, at the same uh, race, we have also another two Omni antennas in the other part of the race. And then everything is covered uh, very carefully and very nicely, uh, uh, the, the, the race itself and especially the finish line. Very good. Uh, next one, yeah. Next one. Well, I, I should add too yeah. that that uh, AB, on, AB on air and Ari we and Vitovation we provide a wide array of antennas. So, if, if in the golfing example we mentioned earlier, maybe there's a camera tower in the middle, we would use omnidirect. We could use omnidirectional receive antennas, so we get a, a 360 degree. In this particular setup, we we don't need coverage behind us. That that's the uh, uh, there's no action behind. So by using a sector antenna, we get more gain, uh, better gain, better fidelity, uh, better link budget, uh, 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 focusing the, the, the receiving envelope on, on a 120 degree or a 90 degree sector as opposed to 360. Uh, 360 is great, but then you have less gain because you gotta, you got to cover a wider area. So these are the things that we we help with the design. What type of antennas uh, make the most sense? Uh, uh, how many FCEs might be needed? Uh, these are the, some of the things that we really encourage you to call us, and and we will help you uh, design uh, your system. Great, right. it's coming. Uh, yeah, this is a, a football stadium in uh, Georgia. Uh, 93,000 seats, and you can see uh, uh, the transmitter there. Very nice uh, picture of uh, the cameraman with the transmitter. You can see also a cable that is connected to the remote control of the camera and uh, supports the RCP that they have in the car, in the OB-MAN. Right, and then you see there's a cable kind of going down or out of the frame. That's going to the little uh, intercom belt pack where he can control his push to talk or or his volume if need be. Uh, let me uh, continue. Yeah. Here comes the, it's coming. Okay. Uh, this is another sports arena. It's a basketball. Again, you can see uh, 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 the cameraman with the, our uh, transmitter. And our transmitter is also connected. It's connected SDI to the camera, and then a data cable uh, to the RCP CCU and to the intercom. You can see the headset with the cameraman. This is in the Detroit. Yeah, and then you can see here, kind of uh, off to the side there, the nice uh, professional headset that that comes with the kit. Um, I'm not a cameraman, but uh, everything is very comfortable. The headset is fully adjustable. It's it, it's broadcast quality. It, it, it's it's a very nice uh, setup. And you can see here, it looks like this camera has two battery plates. So he's got the, it looks like he's got the unit mounted on a side plate. And then it looks like he's using a D-tap from the main battery and bringing power in that way. So there's a number of different ways. So you see, he doesn't have to have the battery on the unit. Um, um, some customers mount the smaller AB on air uh, with a quarter 20, like on a hot shoe on top of the camera. So there's many different ways you can, you can uh, configure the, uh, the rig. Um, it's up to the, the cameraman's preference. Yeah, okay, here you see, uh, uh, um... In Nashville, the baseball park, uh, the baseball arena that is covered by our system. Another project. Next there one. Uh -huh. uh, there we go. Soccer stadium, the same with soccer. You can see here again the camera made with the headset. Uh, 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 um, 
and and uh, with the uh, data con data remote control, uh, which uh, you know supports the uh, RCP. The the camera operators really like uh, not having to worry about uh, shading the camera. Um, you, you know, in in um, in a in a in a sporting environment, if they go underneath the mezzanine, there could be a lot of shadows. Uh, it could be very dark. Um, they're they're tracking a ball going through the air. They could uh, all of a sudden be in front of bright sky. So while they're trying to track an object, having to run uh, uh, the iris or the blacks or or, or, or shading the camera, uh, it's much better if the video engineer in the truck or in the control room is the one shading it, and uh, uh, it's a much better 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 way of doing the job. Yeah. Okay, it next comes, slide. Next. Okay. Here comes the next. Now you will see some uh, slides uh, from horse racing. We are very strong also in horse racing and car racing. Car racing you already saw. Now with the horse racing, you can see uh, again a cameraman with, uh, with a AB on air uh, transmitter and uh, the horses are in uh, before the racing uh, in front of the racing. This is in and, zone one. Yeah, right, right. Zone, yes, in this zone we have FCE, and then there are other zones that we will see that there are also FCEs and the same cameraman with the same transmitter with the same camera. Yeah, you can see here can go from one zone to another zone. Uh, this is the uh, starting line, uh, 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 <clears throat> and we have one receiver in the starting point, one receiver in the middle of the race, and one receiver in the stable or in the paddle. You can see right. the next slide. Right, 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 right. Some, some uh, customers too like the idea that baseball stadium, they want to capture fans outside, either coming to the stadium or leaving the stadium. Uh, we, we put antennas high up on, on the stadium and they could get coverage almost a, a mile away of fans going to the subway. You know, they might be a little tipsy, a little animated, but it's part of the experience. Uh, so whatever, whatever the application, we can broaden that coverage uh, zone. So as, as uh, Ari said here, here, here's coverage now in the stables. So you see here that this could be a steel roof. Uh, in a concrete uh, cavern here, and if the antenna, if the primary antennas are outside of this space, uh, another wireless system wouldn't work, right? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Putting an FCE in this zone uh, gives us coverage uh, in this location. And another idea is that with the same camera, you can go from one zone to the another in a, in right. a seamless way. Right. Uh, this is Louisiana State University. Is a is a very big stadium with uh, more than 102,000 people. You can see all these uh, 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 people, and the uh, and uh, the uh, the uh, uh, the cameraman with uh, our uh, uh, with our transmitter, and uh, no problem. Uh, uh, we are facing very well uh, the the interference if there are interference uh, 100 people are tapping in their uh, mobile 100,000 people sorry <laughs> are tapping in their mobile right. and uh, no problem with uh, our right. system right right it, you know some some of the people that that are a little nervous about the 5 gig band just just really you know a picture is a thousand words or a picture is a hundred thousand people a hundred thousand exactly. words all of these people in here uh, um, uh, because of the robustness of AB on air's technology, uh, this system works without dropping a, a, a single, uh, a single packet, a single bit. Yeah. Here comes next the slide. next. Yeah, this is a you know from the ENG area from the news. Uh, another customer in Europe that uh, they have uh, around ten different. Uh, uh, um, Obivan or vehicles, and uh, in each one of the vehicles, they have one of our systems, and they are using it, you know, for news. 
So the so they beam uh, the camera operator goes a couple of hundred yards away from the vehicle, beams it to the vehicle uh, yeah. uh, microwave, and then you do satellite back to to master control. Yeah. And this is another example of a live show in a studio. Uh, um, and and, and uh, uh, we cover also live shows in studios, uh, 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 like the Big Brother. Big Brother is not uh, exactly a studio, uh, but uh, like uh, uh, The Voice, uh, Sing Competition, Song Competition, and uh, so on and so forth. Well, like you said earlier, in a studio environment, uh, uh, there could be concrete walls in between each each studio, and uh, uh, the, the the camera operator is a union guy who a union operator, a guy or gal, uh, 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 hired by the facility. They just roam from studio to studio to studio. You know, they're doing one event in Studio A in the morning, and then no one has to think about it. Oh, we need to move some antennas or move some receivers uh just all the stages are lit up all the stages have coverage uh uh camera you just show up with your camera and you shoot yeah next one please it's coming yeah this is again this is a uh, in poland again uh, a, a um, tvp the the, the polish uh, state uh, 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 broadcaster, and uh, they are shooting uh, in the field. They are shooting a ski competition. Very good. Ski so I guess uh, we've seen um, things in the Middle East. We've seen things in the cold. So yeah. I, I guess it's a testament to your temperature range that it works in the very cold and the very hot. Yeah. Uh, that that you're you're not only. Uh, very reliable but you're environmentally uh very reliable you can handle any kind of conditions yeah correct and uh, this one is in israel in nazareth in uh, uh, in uh, in, the, in, the, in christmas miss uh, in the christmas service sorry and uh, uh, you can see there are uh, nazareth is very famous of course uh, and 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 uh, religious place for uh, all the Christians, uh, uh, and uh, you can see uh, the cameraman with the intercom belt, uh, right. uh, and and everything there. And uh, again, it is outside. We put two FCEs, and then we cover all around the charge and the charge itself also is covered by another one FC. Well, also too, like um, I, I've done a little bit of camera work in uh, in an amateur uh, capacity. Um, I've also here at Saddleback Church locally, because I know what a vector scope is and a, and a waveform monitor is. I, I, I've done some video engineering, some some shading, and it's rare that the camera operator will actually talk back. Um, you see the the two little controls on his little belt pack. He's just controlling the volume so he can hear the director, and he's just getting instructions. You know, camera one, please zoom in. Camera two, get a shot of player A. Camera three, get a shot of player B. And and um, a lot of times it's like yes or no. They'll they'll shake. You know, camera one, are you ready? He doesn't talk, or you don't want. He doesn't want to have his mic open. But if he does need to speak, he can press the push to talk button, correct? Right. Um, but it, it's it, unless something is wrong, it's very rare that the, the photog will speak or he'll, he'll speak and just say, hey, I need another battery. Somebody come out here and give me a battery. I'm running low. Uh, but it's it's uh, it's rare that the that the photog talks back. So he's just listening there and then he can go with a free hand and press the push to talk. I guess he could leave his mic open, but I don't think the director would like that. Uh, um, so let me go to the next. Oh, this is a good slide. It's coming. Yeah. Oh, there this, you know, it's a slide that you can see a partial list of our customers all over the world. You can see uh, 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 many universities in the United States. We talked about universities in the United States. You can see the Texas Motor Speedway. Uh, uh, you can see NEP, which is a very big uh, operator. In the right. United States, 
uh, uh, you can see uh, many others here. You can see we are uh, we have uh, 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 systems all over the world. Uh, some of them you can see here in uh, in in Europe. One of them is TF1 in France. The other one is France Television. Uh, the other one is AFP in France, uh, RTL in Belgium. Uh, uh, um, we have got uh, from Netherlands, we have got from the UK some companies, uh, even from, uh, 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 from the Middle East, all over the world, you know, cold places, hot places, whatever you can imagine. And uh, here you have uh, collections of uh, partial collections of logos of uh, our customers in the United States and worldwide. Well, I should add too that uh, we did the Arizona Cardinals, the NFL team, yeah. and um, they've done uh, a couple of Super Bowls there. Um, 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 for that installation, uh, I think we did three FCEs. We had uh, one at the 50 yard line and then two kind of up in the bowl to get coverage of, of uh, you know, fan coverage, uh, the photog shooting fans. And uh, that venue is interesting. I, I believe it has a fixed roof. They wheel the field out into the parking lot so the grass can get sun. And then on game day, they bring the field back. I think, I think that's the stadium. They bring the field back in under the roof, put the air conditioning on because it's very hot in Arizona. Uh, then when the game is over, so the grass can get some sunlight, they wheel it back outside. So you would think it would be easier to open the roof, but they don't do it that way. Uh, uh, I, I believe that's the stadium. So uh, uh, that was a fun project. Uh, so there I think that's a, it. Yeah. Go, yeah, go there ahead. Is another, I, I want to add, uh, recently, this year, we had a few projects in horse racing very successful uh, project uh, uh two in uh, you know, sorry three in the united states two in europe and even you know in the united states it's not common but in europe uh, there is a car that is going after the uh, the, uh, the the horses and you can see the horses live from the car so mm -hmm. uh, very very interesting the car is running after the horses and in the car there is a wireless system and you can see you can take a very very amazing amazing uh, shooting there uh, so well we so we've talked about uh uh live production mostly sports etc you did mention some some studio work yeah. Um, yeah. but were these live shows, Ari, for the, in these studios or were these produced shows? Do you know? No, the, the studios are all live shows. Well, so that, that's what brings me to, you know, Vitovation, our headquarters is here in Southern California. We have an office in Arizona. We have an office in New York, but here, here in the Hollywood area, uh, video assist is very common that, um, um, you might have an ARRI camera or a, uh, a RED camera shooting uh, uh, a produced production, a film, cinema, et cetera. But the, the videographer, the director needs to see the, the, the shots that they're getting. Um, so so uh, uh, they, they might want to use this technology for video assist and having the low latency uh, uh, um, makes it ideal for that. So maybe this is a new area we can get into. Uh, I could see the technology working very well in those applications. Yeah, by the way, uh, if you mention these areas, which is, you know, a, a, a video assist and a house of worship. Yes. As well, uh, we are going to launch this year a new product or even a new product line, 4K, especially for these two markets, and in a very, very competitive price. I cannot okay. talk too much about that now, uh, but uh, we will have very soon, you know, this is a reason for another webinar. 
Yes, yes. I, I would love to have you again, Ari. I, I think we're, we're kind of winding things up. Um, I think um, you were so articulate and so uh, informative. I don't think we have any questions. If, if anybody has any questions, um, certainly feel free to, to, to chat with us right now. If not, um, you can reach me uh, or anyone here on my sales team at VidOvations. We have offices in New York, Arizona, Southern California. Um, we are um, uh, available from 6 a.m. Eastern time to uh, 6 p.m. Pacific time, 6 a.m. Eastern to 9 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. Um, we have 24 seven technical support. So uh, you can reach us virtually anytime here at Vidovation. Uh, we'd love to hear about your wireless applications. Uh, we will help you design a system. It's very straightforward. I don't wanna make it sound like it's complicated to design these systems. It's just, we'd like to see an aerial picture of, of where, where you would like your camera operator to operate. You, know, you wanna come out at midfield to do a coin toss. You wanna be in the tunnel. You wanna be in the end zone. We wanna know these things to make sure we have the proper coverage. And then uh, we'll come out into the field and help you with deployment and tweaking and optimization of the system. And uh, we'd love to hear from you anytime. So, so thank you, Ari. Uh, we look forward to uh, uh, having you again, maybe the end of the summer, September or August. I, yeah. I won't get to see you at IBC, unfortunately. Oh, and I forgot to say, I, I hope everyone out there is staying safe and healthy. We wish you all the best. Um, we've been doing a series of these webinars uh, uh, at least once a week. We were, we've been, this was the exception. I, I, I wanted to have Ari on and I didn't want to make him wait. So we did today's one on a Tuesday, but we've been uh, every Wednesday at 10 o'clock doing a different vendor. Uh, we have one tomorrow uh, in our series from Avi West. We will have you back, Ari, uh, end of summer to talk about some of the new products. And uh, uh, thank you so much. This was very informative. And uh, I hope you stay safe and healthy. And we'll let you go have some dinner and, and <laughs> practice, your, practice your saxophone. We, we, yeah. uh, I don't know if you logged in a little late uh, before we started, Ari says, well, I'm gonna skip dinner because I have saxophone practice. So uh, I learned something personal and something new about Ari today that he plays the jazz saxophone. Yeah, yeah, saxophone is for the soul. And uh, you know, dinner is for the body, but saxophone is for the soul. And it's very, very important. Anyway, Jim, thank you very much. It was my pleasure to be here and to talk about uh, what we are doing. Uh, I hope to see all of you soon, either in the field or uh, in another webinar. And really, really special thanks to Jim for uh, hosting this uh, webinar and helping me with all the logistic and all the, 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 yes. the procedures. I'll make sure my headset doesn't cut out in the middle next time, but uh, that was our, okay. I, I apologize for that. That was me. Uh, thank you, everyone. Have a great day. Be safe, and uh, 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 we'll we'll talk to you soon. We'll see you soon, hopefully. Thank you. Thank bye bye. You, Have everybody. a great day. Thank you. Bye bye. Have a great bye -bye. day. Bye -bye.